best vaccine is the one you can get into your arm. All the vaccines that are currently available are actually very effective in, in, in preventing you from getting sick, preventing you from dying, preventing you from getting hospitalized with COVID. So I would say, take the vaccine being offered to you. The most important thing is to be vaccinated. Some vaccines may be better against some variants than others. Some vaccines may be better in older people than others. I think we, we still need a lot of research to understand that data. Some vaccines may have longer protection time than others. The research has not ended. Right now, what we have is emergency use authorization. That means there's a public health emergency and the vaccines are being authorized to use because of the public health emergency. But they're not yet fully authorized and that is pending some more studies and you know, research is still happening. We're in the middle of this crisis. We're trying to get over the crisis. Then we'll figure out what happens long-term. But in the meantime, even one vaccine is better than no vaccine and get vaccinated because, you know, what will happen later? It reminds me about the early years of HIV. You know, we use antiretrovirals and we said, cure the antiretrovirals you have. And we're starting an antiretroviral therapy and we saved thousands of lives by starting people in what I think were not the best antiretroviral drugs. Even back then, even in the US, we're using drugs and nowadays, I get chills to think that we were actually giving that to people, but it saved lives. Now, if somebody back in 1996 would have said, no, I'm going to wait until there are better drugs, they would have been dead. There's a lot of very smart minds working on COVID vaccines. I think we're going to get much better vaccines. I think we're going to be talking in three to five years about very different vaccines.